clear there. Inside interior room, lowest level of your home as these storms continue to slide off to the southeast at about 55 miles per hour. So Huntsville, you're going to be feeling these winds here coming up in just a few minutes. Bell Fountain, same story for you. DeGraff, it's knocking on your door. And we can even go street level here to show you uh, some of the streets that are going to be impacted in just a few minutes as this dangerous thunderstorm is rolling on in. Uh, so it looks like eventually it's going to get off towards Zanesville and Valley High there in just a few minutes. Let's go ahead and put a storm track and some ETAs on this as it continues to slide off towards the southeast at about 55 miles per hour. Robert has uh, drawn that storm track on there for us. Wow. Coming up in West Liberty probably uh, within the next 15 minutes or so, if not sooner than that. And then eventually it's going to get on down towards North Louis. Lewisburg and Urbana if this thunderstorm continues to hold together. So there's our storm 35. track. Oh, no, about 55. 55, yeah. Yeah, so it's, okay. it's uh, had picked up a good bit of speed here as it continues to move on out. So right now it's into Graf. It's going to be getting into Bell Fountain by 11.59 tonight, into Valley High by 12.05 tonight, North Lewisburg by 12.15 in the morning, and then towards Milford Center by 12.23 in the morning. So this is a dangerous thunderstorm that even though we're in the nighttime hours, it doesn't appear to be weakening. We still have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect, and we still have the ingredients necessary to support some of these severe thunderstorms over about the next hour or so. Storm Center 7 meteorologist Robert Gotro is going to take you through what we can expect as we go through the next few hours. So you can see all these yellow counties, which some of them are under the rainfall, all these yellow counties are under a severe thunderstorm watch. Now, we already had a severe thunderstorm watch earlier in the day, but it wasn't for all of our counties. Now, with this, this is our second wave of storms coming through, so you don't see this a lot, but the southern half of the viewing area south of I-70, we saw that brutal thunderstorm that moved through, brought a lot of lightning, blew trees up, but also brought some very, very strong wind. Now, these storms are coming in from the Midwest. We had a, actually had a tornado warning in Chicago earlier this evening. We had a couple more thunderstorms coming in from Wisconsin and Michigan, and they're making their way toward us, and they're here now. Now, the thing is, those storms that we had earlier across the region were in the south, and so it ate up a lot of that energy down there, but there was a lot of energy to begin with north of I-70, and so even though it's getting dark, it's getting cool, and some of that energy is waning. There's still quite a bit of energy there that these storms are tapping into, which is the reason why you're seeing 88 mile per hour wind gusts with this storm. Thankfully, we're not seeing any sort of to tornadic rotation or anything. There definitely could be some hail in these massive storms, but the wind is really what we're looking at. We've seen destruction with these storms throughout the day in various places, with, the, with not to mention just the lightning. You don't even need lightning to consider a severe thunderstorm warning. The severe thunderstorm warning is only issue when there's strong winds, which is what we see here in hail. But lightning is also a factor no matter the type of thunderstorm. So these storms in particular are definitely very strong. And this is moving toward the south and the southeast. And as both of these systems move through, we're probably going to see them hanging around for at least the next hour or two, slowly pushing across the area. Now you'll notice too, at least on this map here, that the uh, severe thunderstorm watch does not include Miami County, does not include Montgomery County. As these storms push closer toward, you can see Urbana, and uh, Champaign County. So that's, I'm going to put this into motion too real quick. I'm going to turn off the uh, severe thunderstorm watch so it's a little bit easier to see. And then let's put it into motion too so you can see also which way the storms are moving. You'll notice they're moving to the southeast. And Austin, you notice that some of these storms are not just your typical yellow outline polygons. Some of these have this kind of peach color. Yeah. Explain, can you explain that? Exactly right. So as we're looking at Live Doppler 7 radar this evening, you can see how they get that peach filling to them. So that's where the National Weather Service is taking a severe thunderstorm warning, but uh, kind of uh, making it a little more serious, announcing that the damage associated with that severe thunderstorm could be significant. So we call those a destructive tag. Basically, it means that we have winds more than the standard 60 miles per hour that would trigger your severe thunderstorm warning. So we have winds with this thunderstorm uh, up to 70 miles per hour, maybe a little bit higher. We've had storm spotters in this storm further back in Indiana that had observed wind gusts higher than 70 miles per hour. And again, even at the Fort Wayne uh, Airport, we had winds uh, recorded at 98 miles per hour. Now, that may not necessarily be happening here, but because we have these bright blues indicated on the map of, there you go, 88 miles per hour, 84 I know it says miles negative, per hour. But that's just... A it means 88 <laughs> miles per hour. You can think of it as an absolute value. Right. It's moving towards the radar at that speed, um, a little over 1,400 feet, 
maybe close to 2,000 feet above the ground. Some of that rain could actually bring those stronger wind gusts to the ground, and that's why you could have some of those wind gusts to 70 miles per hour. So I'll give you one more big broad look on this before we send you back over to programming here. Severe thunderstorm watch for the northern part of the Miami Valley. We have that brand new severe thunderstorm warning for Logan County, Champaign County, and Shelby County. That dangerous thunderstorm continues off towards the southeast at about 55 miles per hour. Everybody else is quiet for now. The trajectory of this storm takes it out of our viewing area after it clears uh, Champaign County here over the next, say, hour and a half or so. But of course, myself and meteorologist Robert Gotro will just continue tracking if something becomes particularly dangerous, more so than what we're seeing right now, or if we have brand new warnings, we'll be sure to break into programming immediately and let you know right away. Just using your squeegee. Well, the squeegee kind of comes with gas. Squeegee isn't free? Oh, that's free with gas. Yeah, but it's a plug-in hybrid. I don't need gas. Well, 